ജെലഫ് Give us a rundown that what is it means for the people who are follower of JKLF. You see, uh, my position uh, in JKLF has uh, as a background because the chairman has been arrested and then he has been sentenced for life imprisonment. So therefore, uh, it was felt that uh, somebody has to come up and uh, take the reins of uh, the organization and you know move ahead uh, with the objective and uh, use our potential in order to highlight the kashmir issue and try to engage the international community somehow uh, for uh, an uh, just solution of the kashmir problem and um, how does the process go when it comes down to change of leadership at the top level for JKLF. Well, it's absolutely democratic. And we have a Supreme Council. The Supreme Council was first elected by uh, the Zones. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the Supreme Council elected me and the uh, rest of the body. Okay. Uh, tell us about what direction are you taking next in terms of Yasin Malik being in the prison and now the Indian courts have sentenced him for life in prison. is your organization are going to pursue through legal means to get him released from the court or get some sort of an ease for him so we can he can have access to his family members friends or his followers if that's not possible what is the next step towards uh, getting yasin malik out of the jail well first of all i must tell you that yasin malik is a very courageous man mm-hmm. and he can't be cowed down by the fabricated uh, judgments by india but at the same time uh, we need him in our rank and file we need his guidance and leadership so that uh, the cause is pushed forward however as long as it does not materialize we will have to uh, find out some alternative to basically to focus on our struggle and for creating an independent sovereign nation of kashmir so um You know, it's a long outstanding issue and we always see people talking about it. And if there is any grassroots organization that we find on both sides of the Kashmir that truly represent the aspiration of the people of Kashmir, that comes down to JKLF. Now, the JKLF, the leadership that they have, uh, you know, the public that have looked up to it is in the jail. Makbul Bhatt is uh, six feet under. And now the entire responsibility on, on your shoulder. What is your next way forward? I'm blessed with the great team that I have around. I have basically people who have brought me into this freedom struggle. They are uh, on my back and I have complete trust in their uh, ability in their uh, commitment dedication and uh, the ability of uh, moving this issue uh, forward. I am really grateful and I am blessed uh, with the leadership that I have around. Um, I think it would be fair that we keep uh, Yasin Malak in our conversation throughout this because he is the you know, uh, living legend who, who we look up to. We have seen his wife in Pakistan uh, running an organization under the name of Cultural Awareness. Uh, what do you make out of that whole situation? Do you think, does she truly... represent the aspiration of yasin malik or is it just another business i don't agree with uh, with her activities at all and as long as she pursues it as a pakistani i i have no cajels against her but once she pretend to be the wife of uh, the chairman yasin malik and then she carries out certain uh, uh, very questionable seriously questionable actions and that definitely ruffles uh, my feathers talking about jklf you know we have seen jklf took the initiative under the leadership of kgc and in one point in time you all decided to create a senate who can be two representative of people of kashmir from all five regions where is that process that process is there we have a lot of difficulties in the process as you know uh, i presume uh, i may be wrong 
but I presume that Pakistan probably may not have much uh, serious uh, reservation about it. But on the side of Indian side, uh, though they claim to be a democratic country, and uh, this is the creation of Senate is absolutely a very democratic process. And, but yet again, uh, there is no space. They don't show any willingness to come along with the way. And uh, that means the case, but it does not mean that, that we are going to uh, suspend it or hold back. We will uh, certainly find out some other way to establish the Senate so that uh, we can uh, move ahead, you know. And we need to establish contact uh, with the international community. And uh, we have to give a semblance of uh, democratic setup. And if India does not uh, allow it to happen, the blame goes on Indian side. Blame uh, the ball is in their court. Then they will have to respond to the international community's argument. So what do we make out of uh, this situation that India is creating right now uh, inside Kashmir where... Uh, you know, they, they abrogated Article 317, 35A for the sake of uh, development and improvement and betterment of people of Kashmir. That is not happening. Every day you see you have a target killing, the fake encounter are being orchestrated to kill the youth. What is it that JKLF as a party or Kashmiri as a diaspora are doing at this time to bring some ease for the people of Kashmir on ground? We are doing all that we can and we are engaged with uh, multiple forums across the world. We keep on making them aware about the ground situation and uh, we are uh, trying our best to expose uh, the Indian uh, charade of uh, democracy. But, I mean, uh, Kashmir issue is a very uh, complicated issue. It's not complicated. It is being uh, made complicated by India and by Pakistan. There is a very, very simple issue that to withdraw their troops and leave Kashmir for Kashmiris. But they have uh, landed their troops there. India has a million, over a million army uh, in a very small space of uh, land. And uh, does it work for India? Absolutely not. I mean, I would challenge India let them withdraw only 100,000 troops. You know, the, what India is actually trying to uh, project outside or inside India that the iron fist is working. It's not working at all. I would challenge them, let them withdraw only 100,000 army. I will change my name if next day you won't see hundreds and thousands of people on the streets. Protesting. Protesting against India. So, uh you know, we cannot take Pakistan out of this equation. We had seen some uh, awareness or maybe uprising inside Pakistan by the public and to some degree by the government as well to bringing the issue of Kashmir on a global forum under the leadership of uh, uh, former Prime Minister of Pakistan. He has cut down the ties with India, the trade ties, just to show the solidarity with the people of Kashmir that until unless that autonomous status is restored, there would not be any trade. But that seems to have changed with the regime change in, in Pakistan. I think that's very discouraging for the people of Kashmir. What is your remark on that? I would definitely agree with you. I At least somebody has a position, you know. In Pakistan, the problem is that they have no position on Kashmir. First, they go, they went on the climax, that United Nations resolution implementation of it. And then all of a sudden uh, they are back on the lowest ebb of uh, the issue right now they have i can tell you with complete assurity that india and pakistan what bajwa basically pakistan army chief has agreed with india that they are going to maintain the division of the state and keep what he has and what keep what they have so it's a very, very unfortunate, it is a very callous and very hard.